Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivaraman of iNoindices.com. So I am going to give the third webinar in the series My Trading System. Let me display the camera over that of the PowerPoint presentation. It is a special event of 10 webinars, every two webinars in a week. My Trading System I am trying to explain so that Anybody who wants to follow my blog and also the Asian session webinar and the tracking the forex market webinar will be able to understand how the trading system works in a consolidated fashion. So today I am going to take the topic Trader Psychology and Emotional Control. So in the past two webinars I explained the structure and the function of the market and the timings to be followed by the market. Now basically when you enter into the market you know very well that quick money can be earned which cannot be ordinarily possible at the same time we can also lose the money quickly so what are the responsible factors for us to lose the money in the market basically our psychology so in this webinar series the third webinar i thought that it should it is of more importance for anybody who is interested in trading in the market how exactly they need to understand the market without the influence of the emotions. So I'll be giving the topics of this nature. So we will straight away go to that of the individual topics and see how exactly the market sentiments are created and the traders are being trapped. So basically you come across two types of sentiments created in the market and which can give the emotional trigger for us. Basically the bullish field and the bearish field. Today during the Asian session webinar I was explaining that uh, Euro and GBP they are expected to form up during that of the late Japanese session and then slightly make an upward stop and during that of the early European session and drop and many ask the question it looks so bullish can there be any drop and now you come across the drop has happened in the case of Euro and GBP so the bullish and the bearish theory or the sentiments alternate in the market. So, will you, are you in a position to change our mindset from bullish to bearish, bearish to bullish and so quickly as the market turns? So, there comes the question. Our mind takes little more time to change the perception, whereas the market makes much more faster moves when compared to that of our reasoning ability. There comes, you find, the emotional grip. Whenever there is a surprise happens in the market, Immediately it triggers the adrenaline secretion and as a result you find the endocrine system dominates the neural system or the brain. Then you find emotion appears correct rather than the brain thinking ability or reasoning ability or the judgment ability. So sentiments are created in the market by that of the big players. So they have created the bullish sentiment for example in the case of Euro and GBP and in, induce the traders to make an emotional trade. So many would have thought that why not I go long in Euro around 1.2967 when it has got a potency to go to 1.32 they would have taken it fine but they won't be knowing when exactly the market is going to reverse and trap the traders. So ultimately if they fail to keep the stop at entry then waited for 1.32 they would have been shown 1.29 day in and day out you come across a similar situation in the market so the emotions are being taken as a weapon by that of the players and they try to induce that emotion as an extraneous stimulus to our eyes so our eyes when you constantly look into that other price action immediately sends the signal to that of the endocrine system then adrenaline secret and you find that what appears in the market is true oh god euro is going to it is going to spike up to 1.32 immediately why not I participate in that try to take a position then later on you just out of greed find okay it has gone up to 1.3028 so little more than that probably I'll try to exit around 1.3050 and we won't be taking any contingency plan of keeping stop at entry then they simply reverse it and see that your stop or is hit or you are holding a last making position so this is nothing but the 
influence on that of the emotions of the trader. As long as we are human, we are bound to be under the control of emotions from time to time. But the thing is, the emotions are also short-lived. So normally if you get angry with a person, you cannot continuously get angry with a person for several days and your anger will automatically subside because you have that endocrine regulation mechanism. But in spite of that, in 30 minutes, the havoc can be done and you can just book loss and later on realize that I could have waited. And probably sometimes you will wait for a longer time, the last mouth, and then you are not in a position to understand why you have held the position without any strategy of limiting the risk. So this is bound to happen in every trader's thinking. So whenever they think calmly without a position, then they will try to realize, okay, here afterwards I should not make such mistakes. But once the next trade comes, similar mistakes could happen. So it is more of the control of the emotion. So what you come across in the market is nothing but a financial cannibalism. So I call it as a financial cannibalism because you know that cannibalism is the one wherein one species, in one species, some individuals feed on the same species, individuals. Then it is referred as a cannibalism. So in the case of human, we don't find uh, one human eating the other human, but one human, the wealth of another human trying to grab it. So it is referred as a financial cannibalism. And only if you want the money to make further money, then this cannibalism can continue to do that. And probably it will provide. And normal mechanism of earning is we convert our efforts or we put in the efforts and try to get the earning out of our efforts. So normally we do that efforts for somebody and somebody gives the money against that particular effort because with that effort he has earned more money. So this is a question of converting the money into that of effort, effort into money. Whereas in financial cannibalism, money grabs money. So obviously when money grabs money, then the strategy cannot be straightforward and strategy you cannot expect any sort of uh, uh, honesty and things like that. It is a question of trapping. So when it's the question of trapping, obviously you know that it has to be a cunning trapping. So in this prevailing condition, we should be able to survive. So there is no point in criticizing the market. Instead, we should be able to find a solution. Thereby, we should be able to sustain in such market and try to still earn money from that. So basically, the emotions of the weak-minded people are being targeted. So obviously, you have to ascertain yourself whether you are weak-minded or not. Whether you are simply listening to the others or Whatever you listen from that of others, you just grab everything and later on assimilate or later on analyze what is true in it. Or probably you might come across 5% truth in it and the 95% might be rubbish, doesn't matter. That 5% if it is useful and it is in line with your thinking and your lifestyle, then probably you can grab it. That sort of filtering out is very, very essential in reasoning out process of the brain. So if you are weak minded, then you will expect others to think for you. You expect others to do all the calculations for you. You expect others to remember all the information of you. So this is what you come across a weak mind. It is not that the person is weak physically, it is mentally weak. Such mentally weak people can be easily influenced by market or any other people who can control the emotions of other persons. There are many people who can just by talk control the mind of other people or by action they can control the mind of other people or by creating surplus, surprise, they can control the mind of other people. So weak-minded person will become succumb to that. So market is such a scenario wherein the big money power is trying to act on the traders and try to attack the weak-minded people. So, weak-minded people will be invariably impulsive. And you can easily find a person who is very impulsive and is trying to do it at a very fast phase rather than, unu uh, rather than usual. And such unusual uh, expressions or unusual uh, act 
will invariably indicate that the person is impulsive and the market targets such impulsive people. So obviously we have to see that our impulses are being controlled. Then come across, whenever you hold the unfavorable position for a prolonged period, then you come across the mental fatigueness. And once your mind becomes tired, the exhaustive condition, then the endocrine system tries to control you over it. Then the endocrine system says that why don't you go for a drink? And why don't you just get away from that of that particular serious thinking? This is nothing but escapism. So when things are not going as per your expectations, immediately you go in for a sedative that shows that you have become mentally fatigued. Then we need emotional control and we should be able to keep the brain in full condition and allow the brain to think and reason whether I am doing it, reasoning out, whether I am doing it in the right way or whether I am just doing it under the grip of emotions, we should be able to have a self-reflection. So the mental judgment is very essential. So, okay, I have given all the information to you how to bring in. We need to find a methodology by which we have to control that emotion. That is more important because in any business act you come across, emotion is bound to control, influence, your thinking ability. Even in the offices you come across, some people yell at other people just because they have hired them without understanding that you have only hired the services, you are not the hire the entire person. So without that they sometimes express that anger and anxiety towards the other people. So we are not supposed to do that. We are supposed to only comment about the what we expect from them for that we are paying for it. We are not entirely purchase that particular person. So, no human being is a slave to another person. Only work-wise, you are obedient and you are trying to extend the work. In the same way, we are not we are not obliged to the market by any way. Whenever we feel like, we can enter into the market. Whenever we feel like, we can just exit out of it. When you feel that it is uncomfortable, we can exit out of that. So, instead of simply go with the market, with a bullish and a bearish sentiment, we should be able to find a suitable mechanism by which we will be able to use our common discretionary ability. Thereby, we are in a position to trade wisely. So, normally any commodity which is available in the shop, when the price comes down, we will find whether the quality is okay, whether it is expired date or something like that. If the quality is okay, when it is available in cheap, especially the commodities like the essential commodities, when the price comes down, you don't buying it in large quantity. When the price goes up, then obviously you don't just go and buy it in large quantity. You just buy what you require for. You don't even buy and store it. So this is a normal human reasoning out. And obviously when the price goes up, we don't simply buy it in large quantity. Whereas in the case of market, whenever the price goes up, immediately you are triggered. You try to enter into the market as if you are going to miss the bulk. And later on, we repent that, oh, I did the wrong thing. So, similarly, during the drop also, we do similar things that when the drop happens, after the drop, we try to go and sell it as if it is a great achievement. And later on, we find that we sold it at the lowest level and bought it at the highest level. So, this is what happens. So, how to control our mindset and how to develop a normal sense when you are in the market when you are participating in the market. So, change in the market sentiment and trader perceptions. So, market sentiment is bound to change from time to time, from bullish to bearish, bearish to bullish. If you come consider about 20-30 pips swing is bullish and bearish, then every 15 minutes to 30 minutes you come across bullish bearish. Then it is extremely difficult to digest. And if you consider 4 hours or 6 hours or 1 session bullish and bearish, then you will find still again the bullish and the bearish things alternate. Then if you consider the long term, for example, few days in a week and things like that, still you come across the bullish and bearish sentiment alternate. So in such a scenario, how the traders need to perceive, but what you come across normally among the traders, when the sentiment changes, levels do look different. You know, when era was dropping from 1.2, 1.42, at 1.32, we found that it is a great buy opportunity. Then afterwards, the market dropped it to 1.1877, especially Euro. 
then afterwards it has come to 1.30 then we find it has come up all the way so it is a good buy opportunity and or probably you feel that okay it has peaked out why not you go in for a sell so you find the perceptions of the trader differ from time to time whenever they relate to the levels from that of the previous levels and envisage the future levels so when i assume that euro can go to 1.32 1.30 looks very attractive for me to buy and when i see that euro can go to 1.17 i find that 1.3030 is a very good sell level so obviously the market sentiment induces the traders to perceive the market differently so we the buy levels appear like a sell level sell level appears like a buy level then you really get confused your mind is not in a position to understand because you are not using the common sense immediately your mind says no your mind is of no you or probably you don't know the intricacies how to estimate the market you ask the expert then you ask various experts and the analysts and each one will give their views market can go up market can come down these are all the two views probably they can give with regard to levels there will be different views in the market and invariably your mind will not be able to reason out because you are not used your mind for common reasoning out it is very very simple but still we don't do it because we go in for a relative comparison so when you go in for a relative comparison then suppose when gold is dropping you find that euro is dropping one day then you find that there is a relationship between gold and euro then next day you find gold is rising euro is rising then you find your yeah, relationship is very strong so whenever gold rises immediately i should buy euro the third day you find gold is rising whereas euro has dropped so then the mind says still it is confused so when you going for a relative comparison uh, comparing with it of the levels in the same currency pair or you compare it with a different market the mind invariably find there is enormous confusion then you go in for a correlation coefficients find the level of correlate correlations like 85% correlate 60% correlate 50% correlate fine as long as it is less than 100% of correlation the error factor is there so if there is 90% correlation 10% error can happen if you try to take positions during that 10% then the trade can go wrong and the mind can get in the confusion so obviously avoid relative making the relative comparison of the market so if i want to trade euro then if i try to compare it with that of the yester years or with regard to yesterday or with regard to the last week or last month and things like that i will go in for a relative comparison then i will feel like selling it whereas if i refer it to that of the bottom line i'll feel like buying it so obviously when you refer to both you lead to confusion you need more and more confirmation because the mind wants some logistics to conclude but that logistic appears to be temporary it is not a 100% solution for it so obviously one if you wants to be a wise trader ignore the market sentiment it might look very shocking when i say ignore the market sentiment whereas the players don't bother about the market sentiment and they only create the market sentiment and when everybody is telling that greece is under the deep water and it is in great uh, great trouble so obviously we should see euro at 1.17 at that time they have been buying at 1.20 1.21 and 1.18 so who is wise if they would have gone with that market sentiment when ma- majority of the financial analysts were telling telling that the us might be under the second grip of recession when they were telling like this these people have been buying silently so they ignored the market sentiment and they bought it and now they are happily booking cross with and you find that market has gone up so we missed the opportunity so this is our we will refund if we try to continue to follow the market sentiment so just keep aside the market sentiment and say okay what is happening in the market knowing about it is not a big deal but don't be influenced by that 
perceive the levels in relation to that of the high, low and net change using the market live market code page on a daily basis because you are only looking to do the intraday trade to start with and try to relate it only to that particular currency with regard to the high and the low what could be the possible moves in that particular time frame within the day or within the session within 2 3 hours then find the net change so let me give the live market code page here the link for it so probably you can click the link i know in this is a stack the bank it's just in a stack the bank feed i find that it is more reliable that's all any code page you can refer to and there you come across that the uh, the intraday codes are given currently if you look at euro 1.29221 and 1.2923 are the levels 1.2912 is the low 1.3028 is the high and you know when i was doing the asian session live market analysis euro was trading around 1.2967 and went up all the way to 1.3028 and then dropped down and cut the low. So this is what happens in the market on a daily basis. And similarly in the case of GBB, they went up to 1.53 and came down to 1.52 and below that and trading now below 1.51. So if you refer it, then you will be able to understand the intentions of the player. That is why I want you to refer it the current level with re in relation to that of the initial highs and the lows initial the level what they are set from that of the start of the day so that you will be able to decide what sort of intraday you can do it rather than comparing euro with that of gbp or comparing with that of gold or any commodity or a stock market then if you try to relate it to that of the price action what has happened just two hours back you will be able to read the intentions of the players then find out okay what is going to be the next move then identify the move and try to trade then you will find that you are not really under the grip of emotion then what's the price action when the currency pair is near the low or the high then you try to take a decision this way by ignoring the market sentiment and just you are going to only look for 30 40 pips profit in that you don't require any strong emotions to play and only you are aiming for 30 40 pips still your reading can go wrong so try to use the trading strategies to limit the risk and try to get the maximum reward out of it so how to control that emotion now so you are only just referring to that of the line market code page and you are relating to that of the high and the low in the morning when euro was trading around 1.2967 then the net change was about 30 pips positive then subsequently when it went up to 1.3028, the next change was only 78 pips. So they gained about 40 pips, but they breached with the psychological level 1.30. Then immediately if you think that it has breached 1.30, so obviously 1.32 is the target, then you are defeated. Instead, okay, it has gained only 40 pips. If you just quantify the gain. Then you find, okay, 40 pips boo is not a big deal on a daily basis. They can rise about 150 pips or drop about 150 pips. They gain only 40 pips. Okay, they have got a purpose. Let us see what they are trying to do that. Okay, they just gained it after they stop cutting the high. Okay, they are done the stop and fine. So those who have taken the sell position when the market was stagnant, they just hit the stop on the higher side. Then afterwards, what they are supposed to do? then hit the stop on the lower side. So let me take a sell position there, then later on let them drop, I'll buy and just earn profit, trade along with it of the trade. So this is how you should be able to perceive and talk within yourself and just analyze what is actually happening in the market rather than trying to perceive what appears in the market is true. So what's the market? And when wish to trade, give enough Wish to trade, you take the positions and trade. Otherwise, if you feel tired and you want to take rest, you simply close down the platform and see that you don't have any positions and give the rest to the body as well as the mind. Many of the traders have got a tendency to adjust their body biological rhythm to that of the market. And invariably you find they might be staying in US and spending most of that night 
of keeping awake during the Japanese session, the European session, and go to bed morning around 10 a.m. in U.S. and get up in the evening. And if you try to change your biological rhythm, invariably you know what will happen. When the rhythm changes, like a person who is going for a night shift all the time, the system will not be in a position to adapt because there is other complicated mechanism referred as circadian rhythm, which is the global rhythm. And we have to be influenced by the global rhythm. So obviously our biological rhythm will not be able to totally shift it. Similar to a person working in the night shift and the day shift, etc. And if you continuously do it without any rest, then you will find the body will gradually lose weight and it will gradually lose stamina and you may become aged at a lesser time frame and also your mind will not be able to think calmly. So we have to necessarily understand that we come to the market only to earn money and improve our lifestyle, not at the cost of our body, not at the cost of exploiting our body. Then what will happen when you continue to exploit, even at the age of 35, 45, you look like a 60, 70 year old man because the body becomes totally weak because of the change and the shift in the rhythm. Then the mind also is not in a position to remember things. Then invariably, the very purpose of entering into the market and earning money and improving the lifestyle is defeated. So I do not want to talk more about the negative aspect of it. I want to spend more time on the positive aspect. So the other thing is the imagination, the hesitation, the emotional grip. These are all the things. What appears in the market is not true. Just ignore and say that, okay, they can do as a USD weakening move or USD strengthening move or risk appetite move or risk uh, aversion move. Okay, let them do whatever the move they want. I know now they are going to drop zero. Let me do sell and buy trade. Okay, I know now they are going to rise zero. Please, and the type of moves they are done. So let me do buy and sell trade. That sort of decision has to be taken rather than trying to find what appears in the market is true all the time. Then the impulsive and the stressful condition, you have to control it. So because which leads to mental block then expect others to think on your behalf. Immediately you go to the blog and ask the question, what will happen to Euro? Will it come down or go up? If you are not in a position to perceive, you want somebody else to perceive on your behalf. Can anyone eat for other man's hunger? No, not at all. If you are hungry, you have to eat by yourself. Nobody else, suppose you are sick, you have to take the medicine and somebody else cannot take the medicine and see that our associates he might be, he might be your son or he might be your wife or whatever it is. Can they take the medicine and you become cute? Not at all possible. So if you are in need of such analysis, you have to put your mind to think. Why you are not able to think? Because you put your mind under stress. Then obviously the mind needs rest. The mind expects somebody else to do that analysis on your behalf. So uncertainty leads to hesitation and emotional grief. Try to avoid that uncertainty. If it is uncertain, you try to avoid trading. If you are able to get the certainty, you try to trade. Then you will be able to understand. Otherwise, if there is an uncertainty, you want to still make a trade, then try to take it a position in a demo trading platform based on your perception. If the going is good, then try to commit in a real trading platform. Otherwise, if the going is there, wrong, or the going is bad, then immediately feel happy that I have taken only a position in a demo trading platform. So that way, you will be able to control our emotions. So instead of straight away committing in the market, don't think that market will run away. Market will continue to give that opportunity. Suppose if you were to missed the opportunity of buying Euro or GBB during that of the Japanese session by keeping awake, you would have taken the position in the Japanese session being in Europe. Doesn't matter. Let it go. Then during the European session, I know very well, they will either give you a buy and sell trade opportunity or a sell and buy trade opportunity. What is the big deal? So why should I put myself under stress unnecessarily? So 
market continues to give opportunities trading opportunities this you need to understand then the rise and drop are part of the market moves so market has to necessarily make such moves otherwise it is not market so there is no question of becoming greed or panic and you should be able to perceive okay i entered here where to exit you should be able to determine that and if you simply miss that and repent later on he is going to put under put your mind under stress again instead as soon as you enter into the market you just to see where exactly i can exit if you are not able to determine the exit level then simply use a trailing stop in a profit making position it will automatically close the position with a profit so you have if you are not able to watch the market continuously and try to close it you use the trailing stop to close the position with a profit whether it is 30 pips profit or 70 pips profit there is no big deal as long as you don't make loss so why the traders avoid keeping the limit and the stop for the simple reason they would have just exited with 30 pips profit later on they would have seen that if they would have held the position they would have made about 150 pips profit then they feel bad i had just exited with 30 pips profit so immediately next time they avoid keeping the limit and later on the position start making loss then they repent upon that so any act on emotions is wrong so don't go by your emotions do go by your reasoning ability go with your common logic sticks in the mind then you will not commit mistakes in the market it is not a big secret trading in the market it is actually a child's play only thing is we are under the grip of emotions we find it extremely difficult to trade and you might be aware that in most of the bank deal rooms the dealers will be just about 19 21 years 22 years young chaps and you will be wondering why not senior people sit there and in the deal room and do all the trades because they want to see that the person does not have the fearful mind and then you will be able to do effectively the trades so that is why they keep such emotionless people or in the sense they have the control over that emotion because any decision when emotions become wrong decisions later on so also many of the traders look for breakout trades thinking that it is the greatest trade in the world and more assured profit is given for example if you are was trading around 1.2 uh, 1.2971 in the morning during the japanese session breakout trade there was a great possibility you uh, entered around 1.2927 or 2975 fine you are taken a buy position based on they have sustained the level more than 30 minutes fine they made an upward journey and you should be able to quickly exit out of that so it is not the entry alone which is important in the breakout trade the exit also equally important if you fail to exit then it leads to rest loss then obviously you will be holding the highest level long when the market is drop you have to take another buy and try to do the average and that sort of scenarios will come in so based on the market perception we take trading decision using some type of analysis okay whether i use the algorithm or any other type of analysis i try to decide okay i don't want to do a buy and sell trade or a sell and buy trade but when the trade goes against we don't reflect on what sort of analysis we had done where exactly i had gone wrong instead you simply perceive the market differently and say oh because of this data release the market has just gone against me why not you perceive it before taking the position before doing the analysis if you try to reflect on that then you will your analysis will work perfect and you will not commit wrong trades very frequently then the pre planned to trade the trade setup will invariably minimize the crisis and crisis management so you know the crisis management is different from that of the pre planned strategies and the contingency strategy or contingency plan so in a crisis management after the impact you try to rescue 
then it will be a very distress effort and you will have to spend 10 times the energy for the crisis management rather than spending one time energy of contingency plan so expect the unexpected before the market and try to keep the contingency plan okay market can go against me do i have enough feasible margin so that in case if the market goes about 100 pips are against me will i be able to sustain okay i will not be able to sustain let me keep a stop so i will take only a chance for about 40 pips or 60 pips fine if i am not in a position to make money then i'll just exit out of the money i'll exit out of the position without further damage so this sort of contingency plan is very essential rather than the crisis management so there comes your ability thereby you can when you are under the grip of emotions immediately you will recollect about the contingency plan so that you will not become helpless <coughs> once you get rid of that helplessness condition and automatically you find that you are in a position to trade effectively. Then the margin money and its impact on the trading. You know, whenever you go in for over trading, invariably the margin money will deplete. And because of the used margin for every position you take, then when the market goes against you, all the positions will take away that margin. Then when the margin goes down, immediately it triggers your emotion. Oh, my order and money is just liquidating in before my eyes. I am helpless. So that sort of scenario will be created there. So avoid over trading. Then take only one position at a time so that the margin management will become very, very simple. So when you become greed and distress, try to take more position in order to earn back the last money. In the process, you try to lose more money. So avoid such a situation. Take very less position and minimize, maximize the profit out of that. Then emotional traders hold loss making position. So when the position is making loss beyond your bearing capacity, immediately you see that next opportunity exit out of that for a long or a short position. And when you hold the loss making position for a long time, when the market moves you know, favor, you quickly close the position without maximizing the profit. This is another scenario you come across among the emotional traders. They hold the loss making positions for a long time, whereas they fail to hold the profit making position for a long time. But actually it looks ridiculous, but this is what the emotional traders try to do it. Now, how exactly we can come out of all those things. So, you try to develop the mind that the trend is for the herd of traders. Okay, it's not for me. Let it go up or down. I am not bothered. But in a given time, when I am available for trading, when I have the usable margin for trading, I can take one lot position at a time. Can I do a buy and sell trade or a sell and buy trade? Only this judgment you should be able to ascertain. And then you find that if the trade goes wrong, okay, what are the contingency plan I have got? The trade go moves in flavor. What are the strategic trading technique I have got? Like using the trailing stop and maximizing the prop and move the limit away from it. I'll explain it during the trading strategy example. And trade along with that of the players. If you try to follow the trend, then you will be trading against the players actually because the players create the trend and act against the traders. The players create the market sentiment and act against the traders. So the trend is for the head of traders to become victim every time. But you try to identify what the players are doing and try to trade along with them because they are consistently making money from the market. The players make the market appear, follow trend and quickly reverse to trap traders. Invariably you come across the things happening in your mind. Okay, market was following technical. Suddenly it has followed its fundamentals. Then afterwards it is following fundamentals. Suddenly it has started following technical. And you won't be knowing when it is going to follow fundamentals, when it is going to follow technical. Okay. There comes the uncertainty. Then 
how exactly we can control the emotions it is very very important avoid over trading so use only 1% of your equity to take position you might be thinking that it will give only very less profit but consistent profit will become a very big loss loss profit so slowly you will build your equity slowly you build your capital cap the chasm don't try to construct the chasm overnight then it may not be very strong so obviously you need to you need to understand that slowly only you can earn money from the other market then take positions in a demo account and see how the going is then subsequently implement in the real account so these are all the measures for the small account holders then avoid watching the market with stress don't watch the market 24 hours human beings are not meant for 24 hours work we need to give rest to the body as well as to the mind obviously you should have enough sleep the sleep can be split into two or you can have a sound sleep for about 7 8 hours then subsequently the rest of the hours you try to actively watch but don't watch continuously the market give a break every 10 15 minutes and Whenever you go out, remember the particular level, I can see how far they are moving. And okay, Euro has gone up by 20 pips or probably has formed several upward candles. Doesn't matter, you look into the live market port page, you will find that okay, it has gone only about 45 pips. Because the market is in a consolidation mode, the charts automatically got magnified, so the candles look big. So you have to relatively understand. And instead of simply blindly looking into the candle, oh God, big spike! It would have been a simple 30 pips quick rise. So you have to really understand what is real. Then relate the market to that of the high, low, and net change of the present trade. So if you try to analyze it, then you will you will be able to control your emotions. The surprise will not grip you. Then drink enough water. You know that adrenaline secretion is responsible. Besides other endocrine secretions are responsible for our anger, anxiety, etc. Excitement. Then drink enough water because they are secreted by ductless glands. Their hormones are to be circulated through the blood. If you drink enough water, such hormones will be diluted. Then obviously the impact of such hormones over your reflex will be minimized. So automatically it will control your stress. So drink enough water very frequently when you are watching the market. You will not be under the grip of emotions. Not beer. Drink water. Then get some distractions from time to time. Don't look into the market as if it is going to run away from you. It cannot run away from you because they have to induce all the traders to commit positions. Only then they can run away. They have to make such swings for a prolonged period. So there is no one. I mean, there is no meaning of watching it when it is in consolidation and feeling that market is having a lackluster move. What is that you achieve? You have recognized it. Fine. But what is that you have achieved? You have not participated in the market. You have not taken any position. Simply watching it, it is in a lackluster mode. So try to focus. I have give, given in the previous webinar that what are the timings you can follow and in order to Go through that of the uh, the early and the late sessions. You can take positions. Mid sessions, you just watch about every 10 minutes for a, once in 30 minutes or one hour. That is enough. And don't com compromise on your food and sleep because you need energy to look into that market. You need to have the food. Only then with the energy you will be able to find out. And it is like a machine. Our body is like a machine. It needs rest. So when you are giving rest to the machines, why not you give rest to that of your body? So give adequate rest so that you will not be under the stress, the stressful condition all the time. So try to follow all these things. You will be able to control your emotions. So I will just minimize. I have hardly about one minute to take up the questions, I think. Okay, delete. Can you tell you what is the name of the global rhythm? Circadian rhythm, it is referred as. Then Bola. Uh, using the high low, how can you perceive they are going to... I will explain in the subsequent... Uh, the next webinar, 
will be about the trading platforms. What are the constraints we have to place? Besides the market setup, we need to understand what are the constraints we could place in the trading platform. So once you understand that, then you know, okay, these are all the constraints or limitations. And understanding these limitations, we have to effectively trade. So then we have to modify our trades according to the prevailing conditions. So it is like a, a river which is having a, a high flow of water and you have got a wrong boat to swim, then it may not sail, it may not be effective. So you have to choose the right boat so that in the rough weather or in rough uh, river, you will be able to sail across. So you know that there are several types of boats. In a similar way, you need to obviously find what is the right strategy to swim in this particular water of market. Okay, knocking my backside off. Okay, because see, beer contains alcohol, you know, which will act as a sedative on the brain. Even though it has, it contains predominantly water, it might reduce the uh, the and hormones. It might dilute the hormones, but it will not give the appropriate effect because the brain will be under sleep at that time. That is why you have to drink enough water. In order to control emotions. Okay, then balance. What do you do? Or 20 pips and believe the market will continue, but probably if you bring stop to break even, doesn't matter. When the position is stopped at entry, you are not incurred any loss, so there is no need to repent. And in fact, the same level they can, you can enter in. Or even little lower level you can enter in. It will try to give that opportunity. If you see after hitting your stop, the market would have gone about 10 to 15 pips. But if you wait for about 10 to 30 minutes, if you try to give a gap for every gap after the trade. Suppose your position is closed. Give 30 minutes gap and then try to look into the market. You will find the same levels or even a better level of entry will be shown by the player. So many asked in the blog, Hero has dropped it to 1.2941. Can I buy that? And GBP has come to that of 1.5202 level. Can I buy it? But I waited. Now you see that you have got a better level to enter in the market. And probably you might decide it's not a buy level at all. So that sort of opportunities you will be able to get if you wait. I always say that market rewards patience rather than impulsive that. See, yeah, sir, great call today, you said. I am thankful to you for that application, but I want you to give such calls. Okay. How would you know the intentions of the market players? Yeah, I will be explaining in the subsequent webinar how to read the intentions of the players. So you will be able to learn it and try to effectively use it. Before that, you need to control your emotions. Only then you will be able to understand my concept. That is why I have taken these topics first before going to that of the other topics. The actual trading and the trading strategy. Can you talk more about the players? No. What is the use of talking about the players? Sir? When the, the players are very essential in the market, if the players are not, in the first webinar itself I said, they are market facilitated. If they are not available, market will not even move one fifth up or down. I will be vehement. I will be very, very strong to sell euro at 1.29 and you will be willing to buy it at 1.28. That's all. There ends the matter. No transaction will happen in the market. Okay. I mean, can you inform me to get some clue uh, about the moves? I will explain about the types of market moves the players make in subsequent webinar. I am able to understand the anxiety, but learn it step by step so that you will be able to learn it as a full system of trading system. Okay. Unlike you and GPP, Australian dollar is still holding high. Okay. Only market related question because all along thinking about it, probably you might be having a sell position of Australian dollar, but see, calmly wait, you will see the drop in that. Then I mean, how all well connected in different parts of the world. Okay. 
And how do we get rid of these few seconds of hesitation? We can get rid of the hesitation provided the hesitation also comes out of uncertainty. So when you hesitate, then immediately there are only two possibilities. Your decision could go wrong or your decision could go right. Then the hesitation comes. You are not sure which way the decision is going to happen. Then the hesitation comes. Then immediately you take a position in the demo trading platform as per your wish. And see, you, you will get rid of the hesitation. And see how the going is. Then your mind will say, no, that decision was right and wrong. Okay, take the opposite position. You will be able to earn that 30 pips. So if there is a hesitation, get rid of it by Trading in two different trading platforms. One is demo, another one is real. Otherwise, give about 30 minutes and still continue to observe the market. Okay, then the market will give the clarity. What is the hurry when the market looks uncertain? Pay and into the market. When the market is near the low or near the high, try to take the decision. You will be really making good money from that of the market. Every time you want to take the position and hold the position and try to see profit in that, that is nothing but you become addicted to trading. By that you don't achieve anything. What role does institution play in trading? The institutions also do the trades. The players are different from the other institutions. That's what I can tell you. Let us not talk about them more. By that we don't achieve anything. Let us just reflect on ourselves. That, by that we will be able to re really develop a good trading system. Let me show the last slide. I take this opportunity to thank those who have come here to participate and listen to my talk and also to FX Street and FX Street team especially for the valuable support and recording the webinars and presenting to that of the future people, uh, viewers of the video so that it will be available in FX Street for any time reference. I will again come back tomorrow. 21st of July between 12.30 and 13.15 GMT and take up the next topic, My Trading System, fourth webinar in this particular series, Market Players and Limitations in Trading. Before that, I will be also giving the Asian Session Live Market Analysis tomorrow between 5 and 5.30. You can also come there. We will discuss more about the market. Then afterwards, we will discuss about the market players, how they are creating certain limitations for us. And how exactly the players are all the trading platform creates some limitations for us, then how exactly we can overcome such limitations. So once you understand all the limitations, once you understand what is the type of water in which we have to swim, then probably if you know about all the obstacles, then what type of stroke we have to use in order to swim will be able to decide upon. So until then, bye. See you again. Come back for the next webinar and be benefited. Thank you, Alan. Bye.